today i am very excited as i welcome you to one african music festival press cocktail at red restaurants of eco hotel and suites to unveil their official airline partner for the festival that will be happening in dubai and so this is actually very exciting news coming from the continent of africa and very encouraging today they have invited their influencers from the entertainment industry as well as the travel industry which i represent to announce their partnership with Airpiece Airlines. The reason why we're here is to acknowledge Airpiece as the airline partner and sponsor of the InterSwitch One African Music Fest 2019. This partnership will see Airpiece Airlines carrying the best of the best of superstars from the continent to Dubai in November. And um, we have the CEO of Airpiece Airlines and it's thrilled to have their airline partner with this talents from the continent and he's here to tell us why the airline have decided to get into the crowded music festival space. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Alan Oyema. Good afternoon everybody. Uh, I'm glad to be here and um, Epis is very, very willing and happy to be part of this uh, music fest. We want to be alive to our corporate social responsibility. And we believe that by partnering this particular event, uh, where we'll be showcasing Africa to the world, it will help to even, at the end of the day, boost tourism in our country. So these are the kind of things that uh, are very dear to my heart because um, the well-being of this nation is very paramount in all I do. So it wasn't difficult for us, it wasn't difficult for me uh, to agree to be the, for Epis to be the official airline of the program, our official sponsor. I'm sure we are moving about 137 of you wow. are free. Yeah. Uh, is something we are doing with so much joy. We're not being forced to do it. Because we believe that uh, uh, you guys represent the future Nigeria. And earlier we start getting it right with you, uh, the better for the entire nation. You know what, in order to make sure that our future uh, assured, this is why APIS is involved in this and we are not just now, we want to look beyond this moment. We want to look beyond what we are going to do with the Music Fest. We want to be your partners forever. God willing. Mm. <laughs> you, can, you can always count on us at every given time. We want to see more artists becoming international artists out of Nigeria. We want to do all we can do. We want to look inwards and find out how we can partner you, not just for the music festival in, in Dubai, but in some other spheres that will be able to bring out uh, the best in our youth. Nigeria has got the talents. Yeah. That is the truth. We've got the talents. Uh, you people should start thinking of how to develop yourselves. And uh, you know, if it's, it's willing, at every point in time, to give a fear to somebody who is uh, uh, willing to help himself or herself. So we encourage those of you who are not stars today that you can be stars tomorrow. Yes. And uh, APIS is always willing to stand by you. We want to develop programs where we will start now getting people out. There's, there are a lot of talents in this country. You see, Singapore has no oil. Singapore has got the kind of mineral resources we have in this country. They don't even have the kind of population we have. The only thing they have is just water. Today, Singapore is one of the best places under the sun. Their passport is number one in the world. So, not to talk of Nigeria, with all the mineral resources and human resources that are bound everywhere in this country, we can get it right. And when we begin to get it right, all of us will begin to enjoy the nation called Nigeria. 
with I want to use you in so many ways. I want to use you to stop the malice that is going on on social media where Nigerians don't see themselves as one, where they always see themselves from their proper ends or every end. Our diversity should be our strength. So I want to use music. I'm going to support, I'm going to support this organization. I want to use, I want to use music to see, because all of you have so many followers, and when you become stars, you become influencers too. And a lot of people look up to you. So however you make use of that, uh, you determine the kind of uh, society you get at the end of the day. So we need you, even to start in a very small way, however you think, even if you have 10 followers, start telling them about the evil of ethnicity, the evil of divisiveness. We must begin to repair the nation. You don't leave it to government alone. It's not about criticizing government. You don't need others. Try to ask yourself, what can I contribute to my nation? Try to make the difference. You alone can make a difference within your family, within your environment. You don't wait until you become a governor or a president to contribute your quota to the development and well-being of your nation. We must, the, the biggest threat to this country now is ethnicity. We have 378 ethnic nationalities that make up Nigeria, and this is a sure recipe for strength. Rather, it has become an albatross of a kind for us, and we shouldn't allow, allow that to be. America, you know America, has all the ethnic nationalities in the world. You have Igbo America, you have Ijo America, you have Hausa, Yoruba America, and you have Americans from England, the Anglo-Americans, some from France, the Franco-Americans, from Russia, Russo-Americans, from Austria, like Schwarzenegger, Austro-Americans. All of every ethnic nationality in, under the sun is in America, yet, once they get a blue passport, all the profess is America. And when you encounter him, the first thing he tells you is that, I'm American. Yeah. When you encounter in Nigeria, the first thing he tells you, I'm Igbo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Yoruba. I'm Hausa. And when you see Nigerians, they see themselves on the train stations abroad. They don't even talk to each other. The moment he notices that you have a different tribe, he takes his face to the other side. All that should stop. You and I can stop it. In this world that America has, America is still looking for more diversity because there is strength in diversity. You bring your attribute to the table and bring mine, you bring yours. So when they do their diversity visa, all of us will be running to get the diversity visa. Not knowing America wants to tap from you to continue building their country. Here we are with a lot of the diversity given to us by God Almighty. With all the we are sitting on wealth in this country. With all the resources you can think of, everything is available here. So all we need to do is to shun all those divisiveness. We don't need them. We must start to harness our various attributes as a, a, a constituent members of this country. We don't need anybody to tell me I'm Igbo, I'm Hausa, I'm Yoruba because of that. That will limit me. No. So let us begin today to tell those internet warriors that they should please help build a nation we can all be proud of. A situation where they attack each other with all sorts of demeaning names, depending on which divide you're trying to protect, is not good. Let us begin to fight for each other in this country. A situation where we fight for ourselves in a multi-ethnic nation like Nigeria is a recipe for disaster. So I want to see a situation where and at Dewale, we wake up one morning and say that the Hamisu from Kasina uh, deserves to be taken to school. Let the Yoruba man take the gauntlet fighting for the person in the north. Let the northerner take the pick up the gauntlet to fight for the person in the east. Let the easterner fight for the family in the southwest. That is when we begin to have a nation. But the situation where you allow people to fight for their own section is a recipe. For disaster in a multicultural and ethnic nation, Nigeria, like Nigeria. So, I'm very happy to come here today. I don't look down on any set of people. I decided to leave everything I'm doing to come and be with you here today to encourage you.
to encourage you and to let you know that at every given step, APC will be there with you. We are ready to support. But as I've always said in every forum, I cannot go to my grave with my wallet. But I can peacefully sleep one day, knowing very well that I've left some legacies. Thank you, God bless you. One African music festival is actually the biggest music festival in Africa celebrating the mother continent through music networking and creating business opportunities thank you all for watching and I will see you next week bye bye